Hello and welcome to Take 5 with the Regional Chamber. I'm Kim Calvert. Businesses throughout the Mahoning Valley and across the country are struggling to find the workers they need. That's why the Regional Chamber is partnering with the Mahoning Valley Manufacturers Coalition to help some local companies fill their vacant positions. Talia Hagler visited one Youngstown manufacturer that's participating in the Ohio to Work Mahoning Valley Initiative to talk about the program. Heinz Industries is a 100-year-old manufacturer of custom steel fabricated parts. Company-wide, they have about 30 vacancies, more than they've likely ever had at any one time. I imagine our struggles have been no different than anybody else's. It's been a challenge to, uh, to find people, certainly. Um, uh, we've had to resort to many different uh, practices uh, that, that in the past we didn't have to work quite as hard for. That struggle led to them hiring a recruiting coordinator and participating in the Ohio to Work Mahoning Valley Initiative. This was an initiative that was developed by Jobs Ohio, which is Ohio's nonprofit economic development organization to address a statewide um, labor shortage. This is really one that had been, uh, you know, percolating for some time, but then with the COVID and the, the impact of the pandemic on employment really, you know, heightened the, this, this challenge for um, employers really across the board. Julie Michael Smith is the project coordinator for the Ohio to Work Initiative here in the Valley. The program launched here in the fall of 2021 with the Mahoning Valley Manufacturers Coalition as the operations manager and the regional chamber as the business outreach and engagement partner. The Ohio to Works initiative is really focused on three in-demand industries. While we clearly recognize that employers in all industries are facing challenges, Ohio to Works is focused on manufacturing, healthcare, and information technologies. We're focused on these particular industries because these are the industries that we felt not only had among the highest demand for employees, but also offered the greatest opportunity for individuals to progress in their career field. This initiative is different than others because it's taking a multifaceted approach. They're working with employers, job seekers, and workforce development and training partners. Ohio to Work is providing training and information to career coaches at partner organizations. They're helping job seekers with training by removing barriers and addressing job readiness skills. And they're helping businesses connect with those job ready candidates through a variety of avenues, including in-person job fairs. Certainly without their involvement and without the programs that they support, I think we find it far more challenging than we have uh, thus far, certainly. And, and again, some of our recent successes have come about as a direct result of, of those programs. Small successes, one business at a time. There won't be an overnight fix to this worker shortage, but Ohio to Work is focusing on moving the valley in the right direction. For Take 5 with the Regional Chamber, I'm Talia Hagler. To learn more about the Ohio to Work initiative, visit ohiotowork.com. If your company would like to participate, you can contact Julie at the Manufacturers Coalition directly at julie at mahoningvalleymfg.com. And now to another collaboration that's aimed at exposing kids to all of the careers the Mahoning Valley has to offer. The Mahoning County Career and Technical Center, OWOW Science Center, and City Machine Technologies are teaming up to host a kids' career fair. The organizations want to make sure kids know at a young age that there are great paying jobs right here that they may not learn about at school or at home. My mom always used to say, there's a job for you, there's a job for everyone, and we just want to teach children that there are a lot of good opportunities in the area and they don't have to leave. We really want to promote the idea that you don't have to be in high school to start thinking about what you might want to be when you grow up, that there are things out there that you might enjoy doing now that might help you decide what you'd like to be. We have 20 different labs in the building, so each teacher is hopefully going to be highlighting and doing a hands-on activity with the, the students here about what we have in the building. We have the opportunity to um, uh, deal with some of the students that are in the wheelhouse of what we're talking about, right? Getting them early. So we, we have the fortunate ability to get into the schools when the students are a little bit younger and sort of, you know, 
powder them up a little bit and talk to them about the wonderful opportunities that the Valley has and all of the businesses that are local. The Kids Career Fair is February 26th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at MCCTC in Canfield. The first 500 kids will receive a free bag to fill with giveaways at the fair. Organizers are still looking for additional companies to participate. If you're interested, visit MahoningCTC.com slash high school and click on the banner at the top of the screen. We hope you enjoyed this edition of Take 5 and we'll see you again in a couple of weeks. With the Regional Chamber, I'm Kim Calvert. Take 5 with the Regional Chamber is produced by Mahoning Valley Productions, where we tell your stories.